Going from the city that saved itself to a city reinventing itself, Fort Wayne is changing at a rapid pace. That change is most evident downtown. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us live to wrap up his special series about downtown development. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we've used this special series all around downtown to get caught up to speed on the constant changes that are happening in this area. Today, we wrap things up as we look at the area southeast of the Allen County Courthouse and sit down with Mayor Tom Henry. Fort Wayne is my home. It's been the home of my family for well over 100 years. And Fort Wayne has so much potential. We've got great people that live here, that work here, that, that help guide industry here, uh, that I think it would be a shame if we didn't try to push Fort Wayne uh, as far as we could, as far as its potential. For many of us who call Fort Wayne our hometown, and many who have joined our community, the morale we feel in the city is uplifting, energetic. One of those places where that will be felt is southeast of the Allen County Courthouse, the Indiana-Michigan Power Plaza. The recently redone community space sits at the base of the city's tallest building. INM has agreed to stay at this spot for years to come, and other improvements are coming to the property. There are people working uh, very diligently to, uh, to help those that are less fortunate, that are, that are having a hard time uh, with their lives. One of those groups lending a hand, the Rescue Mission, is working towards opening its new building. The mission is raising funds to build a new home at the intersection of East Washington Boulevard and Lafayette Street. The new facility will triple the amount of space and beds available than their current home on Superior Street. It should open in the spring of 2020. In the same block, the people at Matthew 25 are celebrating the expansion and facelift of their clinic. And just a short distance away on Clinton Street, Fort Wayne Community Schools is reaching out with the new Family and Community Engagement Center. While we're seeing more and more buildings pop up around the downtown area, we're also seeing more and more events where people can gather and celebrate the community. Rock the Plaza is a, a huge thing. Uh, a fright night, you know, uh, obviously as far as things going at Headwaters Park, that's always been an anchor. The long-running Three Rivers Festival, German Fest, and Greek Fest all continue to set up shop at Headwaters Park. In fact, there's something happening at that land along Clinton Street almost every weekend through the year, including new celebrations like the Middle Waves Music Festival set to return this year. There's all kinds of things going on downtown. Some of those things going on, sponsored by the Downtown Improvement District, include the street performances of Busker Fest, a sentimental night of lights, and lunch on the plaza, back where we started outside the INM building. A new option to getting around and exploring downtown, the bike share program, will also be back this year. Getting out and being able to do some more things downtown, some more active things. Um, you know, we have a lot of parks around, but it'll be nice to kind of come down here and be able to go out and, and, and be more active, I think, in our, in our own city. So I think that's what everybody kind of wants. Big events and new projects happen all around the area, but it's all around downtown, the heart of the city, where the most change is happening. And it's where others look first to get an idea of what Fort Wayne is all about. Probably the most exciting part of all of this is the fact for years Fort Wayne had to go out and try to find people that might be interested in Fort Wayne. We try to entice them with, with different uh, financial uh, tools and incentives to try to come to Fort Wayne. We're now in a position where companies are calling us. It's very unusual. We haven't experienced anything that, like that before. We're beyond saving ourselves, we're reinventing ourselves, and we're, we're really carrying on into a whole new brand for downtown Fort Wayne and Fort Wayne as a whole to move forward in a way that we're getting national recognition and at the same time uh, uh, striving to be the very best we can be. Even though we're wrapping up this special series today, downtown development continues, of course. In fact, during that conversation with Mayor Tom Henry, he mentioned the possibility of two new office buildings going to be built in downtown. We'll update you on those projects and everything else we followed this past month right here on First News as we get updates. Live downtown this morning, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. All right, great series this month, Chris. A lot of exciting things going on downtown.